For exercise one, you're going to use your grammar book one. Okay, can you please take out your grammar book one now? And you are going to watch the video again. Right, so you listen to me first, listen to my explanation first before you watch the video again. So afterwards, when you watch the video, I want you to copy three sentences from the video to show different types of tenses. Okay, there are three types of tenses that you have learned. You have number one, the simple present tense. Okay, so for this simple present tense, afterwards you write into your book simple present tense, habitual action, and I want you to write three sentences. Copy three sentences from the video that show habitual action. Okay, I'll give you one example. You have a sentence that says, I drink coffee every morning. So this sentence is habitual action sentence. So what you need to do is you copy the sentence as under below habitual action and you write A. Okay, I want how many sentences? I want three sentences. So afterwards, you're going to listen to the video, watch the video again, and you're going to write A, B, and C. So three sentences for simple, for simple present tense, habitual action. Then, a fact. Okay, so for simple present tense, showing a fact, listen, watch the video again, listen, and you're going to write three more sentences. Okay, so this is for the first tense, simple present tense. Next, will be simple past tense. Okay, write simple past tense into your grammar one exercise book. All right, simple past tense is used to show past action. And you're going to copy three more sentences from the video that show past action. Okay, after writing simple past tense, you will go on to future tenses. Future tenses show future action. fashion. Okay, so you copy three more sentences showing future actions. Okay, future action sentences from A, B, and C. Okay, after you have done, okay, after you have heard me telling you this, then you will have to go back to the video, listen to the video, and you write the sentences into your exercise book. Okay, 明白我讲什么吗? 听完听到这里过后你就要停了 The next exercise, right, you don't have to copy into your grammar one book, but you have to take out your grammar workbook, book 6A, right? And you need to turn to page 21, exercise 22. Okay, can you take out your grammar workbook now? Turn to page 21. You can see exercise 22. Right, so for this exercise, you, are, uh, you must do all the questions except for question number five. Let me show you one example. Okay, let's take a look at question number one. First, you have to read the questions, right? The whole, the paragraph. Okay, read the paragraph first. During the last holidays, Kelvin and his parents visiting the bird park in Kuala Lumpur. Kelvin looked at some parrots in a cage. The parrots have curved beaks and colorful feathers. They say help and welcome to visitors who go near to the cage. All right, after reading the whole paragraph, okay, if you have any words that you do not understand, you can check the meaning of words on your own. Okay, after checking the meaning of words, then you're going to read the passage again, the paragraph again. And this time, I want you to 
underline the verbs in the paragraph. Okay, let's take a look at the first sentence. During the last school holidays, Kelvin and his parents, subject Kelvin and his parents, so the verb is visiting. Okay, so you will have to highlight or if you want, you can underline the verb in the sentence. Okay, so visiting is a verb. All right, continue. Kelvin, look. So look is a verb. So again, you will have to highlight or you underline. Okay, the verb look at some parrots in a cage. The parrots have, so have is a verb. Okay, subject, the parrots, verb have. Curve beaks. Okay, curves wonder. Okay, wonder, like a big, alright, draws, huh? draw the, like a the, the draws, alright, and colorful feathers, they subject, verb, say, so say is a verb, okay, help and welcome, so this is, these are the words that he said, he said help, he said welcome, okay, to visitors who go is a verb, okay, another verb, alright, so after underlining the verbs, Right, or you highlight the verbs in the passage that you have read, then you will have to decide the type of tenses to be used in the paragraph. Okay, so for this paragraph, obviously you know that this is a past tense passage. Okay, how do you know that it is a past tense passage? Okay, yes, because of the word during the school holidays right okay so during the school holidays is the the phrase that tell you what type of tenses that you should have to you should use okay 就是三个假期就是过了了, right the last school holidays so therefore all the verbs that you have highlighted just now should be in past tense so visiting is wrong it should be past tense of visit Right, visited. Okay, so write the word visited on top of the word uh, visiting. Okay, you write on your own. Now, I'm not going to write for you. Okay, visited. V-I-S-I-T-E-D. Okay, after that, look. L-O-O-K-E-D. Is this correct? Yes. So, is this, if it is correct, then you don't have to do anything. Okay, next one. The parrots have. What do you think? Past tense of have is had, H-A-D. Can you actually use have for this sentence? Yes, you can. Why? Because this sentence is present tense showing a fact. It is a fact. It is sure that the parrots have. So you don't have to change this. Okay? Next, say. They say. Okay, you don't have... They say. Say help so the word say is not in the past tense past tense of say said s a i d so change s a i d change the word say to say okay right on top of the verb say and the last verb this they say s a i d said help and welcome to visitors who went near past tense went w e n t right on top of the word go okay so that's all so you're going to do the same so you don't have to copy into your grammar book but you will you will do this exercise here so do the same for the rest of the exercises right from number one to uh, number number eight okay except for question number five okay oh, no not number eight number seven okay except for question number five okay so you can start doing now so that's all. All right, thank you.